As an art YouTuber, there are some videos you just look forward to making, and this is one of them. Today, we are taking a look at another Stuart Simple product, Lit, the world's most glorious glow pigment of all time. That's the one thing I love about my job. I get to say sentences like that. Roll that awesome intro. What's up YouTube, I'm Jay Rod of Battle Brawl Productions and today we are taking a look at Lit, the world's glorious glow pigment. Let me tell you something, I am super excited for this video because this is another product made by Stuart Simple. If that name sounds familiar, it's because we actually took a look at another product he made in a Black 3.0 review where he talked about the artist, why he made the paint, and why the paint is super awesome. Lit is kind of the opposite of that. Where Black 3.0 absorbed a ton of light, Lit did the opposite. It absorbs light, yes, but releases it right back, being the glowiest glow pigment. And I have to say, I can attest that this thing glows like no tomorrow. It glows brighter than any other glow item I've ever seen. Now what's very interesting about Lit is that it's actually not sold in a paint form. It's sold in a powder. 50 grams for $14 and you'll have to actually mix it in with something to create the paint you need. Now Stuart Simple does sell his own paint called Super Base but you can honestly also mix it with a line seed oil which I do have provided by one of my favorite ink companies Windsor & Newton. So we're going to be able to mix this and create our own paint consistency which I'm very excited for because I've never done that. And just to read off of Stuart Simple's own website, what does Lit do? Well, unlike other glow things, Lit can be recharged an unlimited number of times. It's super high luminance will often be brighter than the ambient light around it. It can be charged with light or heat. After super bright intentional glow, will afterglow for up to a few hours depending on your mix. Has been specifically formulated to mix with super base to create a super pigment mega glow paint that will stick to almost any surface and it can even be mixed straight into resin. This stuff is non-toxic and it is important to note that this stuff can't just be mixed with water. It does have to be mixed with some type of bonding agent and again, Stuart Simple does have the super base bonding agent but we will be using our own linseed oil which it does say on the website that it can be mixed with. We're going to actually create a mixture ourselves. I'm super excited to try that. Taking a quick look at the packaging it does say Stuart Simple lit 50 grams and it does give the instructions right here on the side. On the back it says not for bean boys which if you don't get that go watch the Black Blackfruit Bundle video and real quick just for fun I'm actually going to be supercharging this the entire video with this UV light to help it glow as bright as possible and I'm going to show you right now how bright this thing can glow. So let's go ahead and turn off all the lights. Now what's really amazing by this is that even on camera it really doesn't capture how intense this glow is. This was just a few seconds absorbing the UV light and a couple minutes absorbing the ambient light in my room and this stuff glows like no tomorrow. Now I don't know if many people know this but UV lights do supercharge glowing items so that's why I have this on hand. So let's go ahead and do our mix and break out the Batman sketchbook. Oh, the brush is still dirty. That's us grab a new brush. Yeah, it's uh, going down. Let's see how well this glows. I'm really kind of curious, so we'll have to do that. But let's really kind of try and work it in there. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off and see if we get this thing to supercharge. All right, that glows awesome. I was a little worried my mix was uh, not good, but no, this thing is glowing like crazy. You can even see it on my desk. Like That is awesome. I love it. It is more vibrant and more bright green in person than it is on camera. I have messed with the settings for a little bit. I just can't seem to get it to actually show the correct color and intensity but man this is so cool it's absorbing all of the light from the UV it's reflecting it this is absolutely awesome and we can see right away there are some street marks so let's go ahead and try and work this a little bit to try and get this down so that's definitely gonna be a bit of a problem is getting that consistent tone maybe if we actually water it down some more I think that would help with it so I'm gonna add a little bit more lime seed to really kind of help with that watering down now this thing does have a slight green color coloring to it outside of its glow feature. So that is important to know. It's not going to be transparent. There will be a little bit of a green tint to it, but that's okay. We can work with it, especially for the illustration that I have in mind. We're going to really try and take advantage of the property of this stuff. Go ahead and water it down and we'll give it another quick test. Oh, that may have been a little too much. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more of lit powder back in there. I think this is a good reason why I don't do this very often because I'm a very messy person when it comes to making art. Yeah, that's going down a lot smoother. It does feel like 
like it's actually going to be able to cover an area far cleaner. There's not going to be as much brush streaks. Of course, we're only going to be able to find out as soon as we flip the lights off and we supercharge this thing. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And yeah, that actually worked pretty well. Again, we'll really have to go in and just kind of clean it up. It's going to take a lot of work, but we will actually be able to get a much more consistently clean and just kind of less streaky techniques. Now I am noticing that the edges tend to be a lot more brighter. I think that's really common with stuff like this. I've seen it well with other inks. So what can we do with glow in the dark paint? Well, of course I thought of like secret messages, but I also thought of magic. This stuff is basically borderline magic. So let's go ahead and lean into that with our illustration. Now I mentioned how today's illustration would lean far more into the magical spectrum than normal. And there's only one character we have that has magic in our real house. It's not Wrath. It's not Poldera. No, it's someone else, the magician. She is a powerful magic user in our little comics world. And I am very happy to finally be illustrating her using Lit. I will also be using Windsor Newton for some of the fine detail. And for some of the bold detail, I thought it'd be really fun to break out the black 3.0 again. We're going to ink and paint this entire piece and then make it glow in the dark. So go ahead and roll that super time lapse. Making this piece was very straightforward and enjoyable, and I loved the entire process. I had everything planned out so I knew exactly where everything was going to go, and I even designed this sketch to work with this paint specifically. I decided to use my Windsor Newton India ink for my black lines, as was the closest match to my black 0. It's also my favorite ink that I use quite a bit, so I knew how it worked. I didn't want to take any chance with this piece to make sure that it was as good as I could make it. After using my dip pen to do my line work, I went in with a brush to apply the paint, and this stuff was very enjoyable. It just took a little bit of time to go in and make sure every area was properly covered, and that was even, but I enjoyed the entire process even though it did take a little longer than I would have liked with normal inks. After making sure everything was applied, I made sure to give it about 20 minutes to dry so that when I went in with my lit, I wasn't rehydrating or causing any spills or stains. The lit was super fun to use. The mixture I went with was a little more liquidy, though personally looking back on it, I probably should have gone with a more pink consistency, but oh well. I did have trouble getting everything to be super smooth and colored consistently, but with the variations I got with my brush strokes, I ended up liking more and I think it really added a fun texture energy to the piece. I started with the left hand, then I did the eyes, then I did the right, and after everything was done, I went over it a few more times to make sure that it was good and added my splatter effect, which you guys know is a trademark on the channel and I love how it looks. I actually found that painting with lit was far easier to do in the dark with a UV light, as the UV light supercharges the glowing pigment, so it's easy to see where it was. Now, with the lights off, you can tell where it is as there is a slight discoloring, but it's just a lot easier with the UV light, especially in the early stages. And even with the lit applied to the black one oh, you could still tell it was there as there was a huge discoloring. I actually kind of liked how it looked and I think it makes it look a little nicer. Though if I was to revisit this piece, I probably would have cleaned that up after. But hey, you live and learn. Overall, this piece was super fun and I love how it came out. So let's go ahead and show you guys how it looks with the lights on and off. And we're done. And guys, I absolutely love how this piece came out easily in my top 10 favorite pieces of the year. This thing looks so great. I love how the posters came out and making this piece was so much fun. It is just one of those pieces that just stands out among all the pieces that I've made. And I hope you guys really like it because if you do, it is available on my RC account for a $1 digital download. And this poster is actually four for the price of one. So if you want to get four posters for the price of one, it's that first link in the description down below. Really does help the channel out. You guys get an awesome desktop background. But turning the lights on, putting the artwork to the side, let's talk about the paint itself and this is an amazing product you know my hopes were already set high I had high expectations because of how well his other product turned out that I tested and he kept it there this thing was a joy to use it was actually really fun to mix I've never done that before and overall it was just super fun to use and it's a really good product and I am mad that I can't perfectly convey how amazing it works that on video you're never gonna see how well it illuminates how beautiful the color is you're not gonna get a good true showing of how amazing 
amazing this product is unless you go out to purchase it, which I do recommend. And on my scale of 1 to 10, I'm actually going to give this thing a 9. Now, you're probably thinking like I talked how great it was. I enjoyed using the whole thing. I thought it was price fair. Why am I giving it a 9? I'm giving it a 9 only because while I did enjoy mixing the actual pigments together and creating my paint, I do think that a lot of people would be off -witted by that, me at first included, but I did get over and I still did it. I do think that having an option where you can have either the powder or you have a remixed tube of the glow paint would have been better, but that's my personal opinion and really and honestly this should get a 10 out of 10 and we're even going to play that animation because I very rarely will ever show that animation because this is such a good product that I cannot recommend enough and we're definitely going to use it for future projects. So if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know what you guys think of the artwork and the product itself. Have you used it? Do you hate it? All that fun stuff, areas you think I could approve on the artwork or things that you liked about the artwork. I know those hands aren't that good, but it's okay. It still came out really good. And subscribe to the channel for more art animation based content. I'm J Rod of Balbrow Productions. I draw the power and glow in the dark with my own soul.